Hi guys, welcome to this video where I will be looking at what we can expect from this year's grade boundaries. That's GCSE 2024. Many of you have been requesting me to give you my thoughts and this is what I am doing. But before we begin, it is worth understanding that grade boundaries do change every year and there's a reason for it, which I'm gonna be explaining very shortly. And I also want you to understand and take note of that these are just my predictions, my estimations based on previous data. So don't hold me to them and understand that these are just an educated guess. Now, why do we find ourselves in this situation where we are always worried about what the grade boundaries would look like? It's because exam papers are not the same every year. So if somebody who takes an exam, a GCSE exam for maths in 2019, they have to earn a certain amount of marks in order to achieve a specific grade. That particular exam paper may have been hard or easier as compared to another year. So when an exam paper is considered to be very hard, the grade boundaries will go down. And when an exam paper is considered to be quite easy, the grade boundaries will likely go up. The reason for this is that the government want to give a specific quota of each individual grade each year. So nationally, the number of grade nines, the number of grade eights that are given, the government want to ensure that the quota of those grades is kept the same. And of course, if the exam papers vary in difficulty every single year, the grade boundaries will need to be adjusted. In fact, the government website clarifies this. It says, it is important to remember the grade boundaries for a qualification vary from year to year. It is important that they do so in order that they reflect the level of challenge of the papers taken that year. Although senior examiners aim to produce papers of comparable challenge, in practice, this is very difficult to do. And this is why we have these grade boundaries changing every year. However, there is some level of consistency with grade boundaries, and this is what I'm gonna be taking you through right now. So on the screen in front of you, you should see the grade boundaries of 2023, the previous year. We've got AQA at the top and we've got Edexcel at the bottom. And I've included here this information which was taken from the MathSpot website, the June summer exams and the November RECI exams for each examining boards. And I'm only gonna be focusing on AQA and Edexcel simply because they are the most popular ones. Other exam boards, please refer to uh, other information that might be out there. Now, if you look at the AQA, uh, let's take the higher paper, for example. You needed 214 marks in 2023 to get a grade nine. For the November, you needed 206. So the reset slightly went down. If you follow that along on the higher paper, so for example, a grade six, you needed 125 marks in June, whereas in November on the AQA, you needed 114 marks. You can see that the grade boundaries went down slightly, possibly because that paper in November was a little harder than the paper in June. And if you look at Edexcel, you can see that it's actually exactly the same from the higher paper for June and the higher paper for November. The foundation did have some slight changes. So you had 182 marks in June for a grade five on foundation, and you needed 175 marks in November on that foundation to get that same grade five. Let's move over to 2019. Let's see what that was like before the whole pandemic. So for Edexcel, you can see this time there was a slight discrepancy between the June marks and the November marks. So if you look at grade eight here, you could see that 167 marks out of 240 were needed in June 2019, but in the November reset, was two marks fewer, you needed 165. It varies from each grade. So you can't say, oh, the marks went down by two marks. It might have been like that for a particular grade, but it's not across the board. The AQA, you can see in front of you that it also went down in November. And this points to maybe that paper was a little bit more challenging, or maybe not because sometimes those students are taking those papers with two months of revision when they start in September. It could be a number of reasons. But let's take all of this and make some sort of educated prediction for 2024, because I'm sure that a lot of you, this is what you want to hear. I have taken these grades, I've looked at them, and I've given you my best estimation of these grades. So for Edexcel, grade nine, 200 marks. That's what I feel that students should be aiming for. 
a grade 8, 170, a grade 7, 142. And this is all for the higher, by the way. I haven't done this for foundation. I've just done it for the higher. And you can follow the rest. For AQA, 212 marks I'm looking at. Perhaps that's a bit high. I don't know. Let me know your opinions. But remember, these will just be subjective. These are opinions. But I'd still like to hear them. Okay, I could be wrong. I'm not going to say that these are set in stone. Follow me and this is it. Okay, so let's look at grade six here. 120 marks. That's what you're roughly looking to uh, achieve to get that grade. Okay, so that's that. Now, no one will truly know what the grade boundaries will look like because only until the exam boards have marked all the papers, released all the grades, with that, they will release the actual grade boundaries. But fear not, guys, if you do not get the grade that you aimed for, the grade that you so badly wanted, there are a number of options. It's not the end of the world. You've got uh, the remarking process that you can take, and I'll be doing a separate video on that. And of course, you've got for maths and English, the November resets. So if there's a specific A-level course that you didn't get onto because you didn't meet the grade boundary criteria, then there's that option for you as well. I really request you guys not to worry about this. Don't stress about this. Enjoy the rest of the summer. You deserve it. There's nothing that you can do about this now. The pen has been lifted. The ink has dried. And now what we can do is just play the waiting game. Worrying about it won't change your grade. Understand that. So enjoy the rest of your summer and hopefully it's good news. Okay, let's look forward to some good news. Be optimistic and until the next one, goodbye for now.